about internship assessment from company supervisors' viewpoints, a five-year experience, and this is a joint work from Z and Unicida Domino. Um, this presentation was prepared with five parts, uh, and when we started this study, we have found similar uh, studies in the literature. Uh, I think that we all believe that curricular internships are very important as the first professional experience for students who never worked uh, this science study. Uh, the same conclusions are pointed out by uh, these authors. Uh, here we have five, but we have found uh, much more. And as you can, as you can see, uh, they are from different schools, from different countries, and all points out that uh, there are benefits for the students themselves, benefits for the companies and also for, for the schools who, uh, who had the students uh, placed in the external companies. So the main goal of this study was to verify for our particular case if our students have the skills to perform adequately a curricular internship in one semester in an external organization. The specific objectives we have also in mind to identify <coughs> the main difficulties and the issues they are facing and eventually to assess the importance of the internship for both students and employer. We are speaking about uh, chemical engineering first cycle here in EZEP. In the last year of this first cycle uh, we have a course named Project Internship as uh, our colleague from uh, informatics has just uh, uh, exemplified in, her, in his uh, uh, graduation. And in this course, the student has two options. Uh, he may choose to make a project, including a plant design, an engineering project here in school, or he can choose to uh, do his curricular internship outside the school. Uh, as we can see, in the recent years, there is an increasing number of students that choose to do uh, curricular internships, what does, what does not surprise us. How does it work? Uh, our students have, uh, as I have said, uh, this internship in the last sem semester of their study program. It takes four to five months. Uh, nowadays we have four months for this internship. Uh, four days a week and uh, the student will have a working schedule almost equal or uh, frequently equal to regular employees. These conditions, we believe that they are uh, enough or they are adequate to allow the student to have a serious professional commitment and allow them to dive in real uh, work, in real working life. Uh, meanwhile, the student has, and happily, uh, uh, we cannot uh, do otherwise, they have other courses to assist here in school, and so, as he is working uh, during the day, four days a week, he uh, will attend evening classes with reports, tests, teamworks, lots of work. It's a hard semester for our students. So, uh, the first step will be the selection of internship working place and this is done by the students, uh, they search different possibilities, the chemical engineering department <coughs> helped them and uh, um, frequently we have a, a specific support in this selection. The companies are requested to present proposals uh, which contain the theme, uh, the work plan and the general objectives which is analyzed by the chemical engineering department and uh, hopefully validated with uh, eventually some details adjusted. When there are uh, 
many candidates for the same uh, uh, for the same uh, place. We have different ways of selecting them, uh, either by interview at the companies or by academic grades uh, or other criteria. There are some outcomes for the student that we all may uh, may agree in. Uh, we have spoken we have spoken about soft skills. They are also present, of course. The student is um, is. Uh, expected, thank you, <laughs> to uh, learn better how to plan work and how to meet deadlines, how to ex execute well and in time proposed tasks, and another, another um, important thing that uh, eventually he had already uh, learned in school but will uh, practice and uh, improve. For the company, we believe that this kind of internships may be uh, available help in many possible ways, since we uh, allow our students to collaborate in the development of specific projects, or uh, in time-consuming activities, uh, sometimes not so easy for the companies to have uh, prepared in time, and uh, it's a new experience for our students, in, for example, the areas of quality management systems, or uh, information updating related to the process, and eventually the most uh, simple collaboration in regular activities of the company. The follow-up of the internship is made by uh, a supervisor in company who will have the main uh, importance in this, uh, in this uh, work, since the student will be mainly in the company but as well uh, with a dedicated teacher who will help the student to perform his work uh, the, better, the best uh, possible. Uh, this teacher in, uh, in uh, IZ, in the chemical engineering department, has regular meetings with the students and uh, also one or more meetings with company uh, colleagues. The student is requested to present a progress <coughs> report and make an oral intermediate presentation at the middle of the semester. This allows the students to systematize uh, its work and uh, uh, eventually uh, it, this allows us teachers to uh, provoke them to think about how they do things because normally the first, uh, uh, the first uh, part of the internship is used to uh, learn how to do well according to the, the, uh, the company uh, standards. And so in, at this time we, uh, we are worried about uh, make them think about their work, reflect about the results they have already and uh, interpret them as a future engineer uh, they, they, they will be in a short time. The final assessment of the, the internship is made uh, of the three components. The first one for us the most important is the student's performance in the company, which counts for 16%. This is uh, done uh, or this is formalized by a questionnaire fulfilled by the supervisor of <coughs> the company uh, previously to the final presentation. The student must present now the final written report which will count around 25% and uh, the oral presentation and discussion which uh, will be about 15%. Uh, this unit, this curricular unit uh, has the 10 ECTS in the total uh, first cycle. <coughs> so the material we have used for our study was uh, this questionnaire the results obtained from this questionnaire, and also some complementary information about students and companies involved. So five academic years were considered since 2009 until 2013. The questionnaire has three parts. The first one uh, is related to identification of student, company, uh, subject of the internship, etc. The second part is uh, the most important for us in this case. It has 19 items divided in four groups with an assessment scale from 1, very poor, to 6, excellent. And finally, the, part, the third part allows us to have some remarks and some suggestions from the company supervisor uh, that may be used uh, to ameliorate the, function, the functioning of the internship 
and also to have some inputs to the core syllabus and the, the graduation uh, itself. So the part two that we are going to analyze is divided in four groups, as I have said. In the first group, we analyze the students' characteristics relevant for professional uh, performance. We have here some, the seven points that are analyzed by the company supervisor. The second part, sorry, the second group uh, will analyze, will assess uh, technical competences relevant for professional integration. The third group uh, um, evaluates the relationship of the students with peers in the company. And finally, the fourth group makes a global internship assessment. The sample that is analyzed includes 102 students and 39 companies. Uh, relating to the students, they come from five academic years and we can see that uh, about 40% belongs to the last year in analysis. 75% uh, are girls and their age uh, almost of them have 20 to 24 years old. These are the companies involved and we can see that they come from different sectors and uh, different dimensions. I'm going to say that two of them are represented here this afternoon and uh, we'll uh, speak a bit about that uh, later. And here are some results of the questionnaire we have analyzed. So to, uh, in the first group, uh, and the, the, the points that are analyzed, as you can see, they are very uh, good uh, rates. They have very good grades. And the, 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 the best grade is, uh, the, the mean value is uh, associated with punctuality. We are very glad about it. And uh, uh, the, personal, uh, the personal characteristics are uh, effect, effectively very good. As you can see also, the, the two points that have uh, worse, if we can say so, worse classifications are the sense of initiative and autonomy. That is not surprising, of course, uh, when, we, when we see what kind of people we are dealing with and the, the, the point of their formation, uh, it's the third year of higher education, so this is where they are more timid uh, still. In the second group, we have uh, the classifications all uh, above 4, 4.3. However, we can see that the, the supervisors from the company um, uh, think or conclude that our students are uh, or should have better knowledge in basic scientific areas and specific scientific areas. We must uh, here uh, reinforce the fact that we are speaking about three years graduation and that the third year our students uh, are not able to have the same knowledge as for instance the uh, previous five year graduation before Bologna. So I believe that some employers are still with the reference of the previous uh, graduated and this is quite uh, uh, expected to, to, to explain in this way but of course uh, we, don't, uh, we don't say also that our students uh, know all and uh, uh, however in the Point two, two point two. I would say also that uh, we are speaking about uh, um, internships that are performed in a very uh, broad type of sectors. So, in a three-year uh, graduation, a student of chemical engineering cannot learn everything about all sectors. Uh, for 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 many of them. Uh, it's the first time they contact with a certain subject they are going to work in the semester. The following uh, group uh, that we have excellent uh, classifications. Our students are uh, able to uh, relation themselves with company peers very well. And finally, the global classifications is also uh, quite positive. 
some figures to show you this, the grades. This is a curiosity. So our uh, internships are very well classified by the company supervisors. They are also requested to give a quantitative classification at the end of the internship for the students' performance in the company. And as, you, as, you, as I hope you can see, the grades are very good. Uh, with an average that uh, stays uh, above 17 on 20. The final grade for project internship is a bit less. And <coughs> this is the final grade of the first cycle graduation. So, as final remarks, the objective of our work was to evaluate from the company point of view uh, the performance of our students. The study covered five academic years, which is already quite uh, interesting. The students were 102 with 39 companies related to chemical engineering, first cycle. We can conclude that employers give a very good classification to the global performance of those internship students. And uh, they state that this experience is very useful for their formation. They show great availability to receive more internship students. Students get uh, high scores in learning skills during the, the internship, uh, which also gives us the impression that uh, although they are uh, less uh, classified in uh, basic uh, or scientific uh, knowledge, they have the basis to learn other things and to learn it quickly. So we think that this is also a result of a good uh, formation here in the school. Punctuality, attendance and relationship with peers. The study also shows, uh, we, we have not uh, uh, spoken about that, but about 40% of our students uh, will stay or have stayed in the company after their internship. There is also a tendency of the students to choose uh, to make a, a curricular internship. And uh, I can tell also that the results, uh, when, we, when we compare the five years, do not have significant uh, statistical differences. As a final conclusion, uh, we may say that, according to the company's uh, opinions, our students have uh, the adequate skills to enter an experience like this and to perform it uh, correctly, to learn with it, and to profit uh, from this uh, important experience. Uh, as future work, uh, uh, this study is to be continued. It is, this is very important for us as chemical engineering department to know what, uh, what this uh, may bring to our students, to our graduate, to our course. And uh, we have already prepared uh, and have already some results from this uh, recent year. Uh, some similar questionnaires uh, dedicated to uh, collect the perception of our students about their internships. Thank you very much. <laughs>